Good morning, Foothill. I'm Taryn. And I'm Aaron. And you're watching show 28 of FTV. <laughs> On this week's episode of Cooking with Kyle, girls water polo guests Grace P Gracie Peavy House and Danny Ayala helped with help whip up some yummy tomato basil soup and bacon grilled cheese sandwiches. Yum. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Kyle. Today I have two varsity girls water polo. <laughs> Wait, what do I say? What? Welcome oh to another. Welcome, welcome to Cooking with Kyle. Danny Ayala and Greasy P. Mm. Today we're making grilled cheese and tomato soup. I'm here with Danny Ayala and Greasy P. V. House. First, we're gonna grab tomatoes and we're gonna dice them. <laughs> Next, you're gonna cut the onion, but make sure you have protective eye gear so that you know you don't cry during the experience. <laughs> Grab your olive oil and pour half a cup into it. We prepped this already, but you're gonna need some garlic. You need about like two or three cloves, and also basil for some extra flavor. Next, you're gonna grab your Vitamix blender and put everything inside of it. Cut the bread into a bread bowl. So you're just gonna take a knife and just get in there. Next, you're gonna grab butter and spread it on the outside of the bread. That's how you make it, it's easy as that. Mm. How does it taste? Mm. Exquisite. Really? In the words of Garrett Elms, New Year's resolutions are stupid. Here, Connor Davis captures the magic. Morning nights, this is Garrett Elms reporting for FTV. Today we're gonna to talk about my third least favorite thing. Unrealistic goals, basically New Year's resolutions. Let's have a look. <laughs> All right, did you guys have New Year's resolutions? Yes or no? No. <laughs> did you guys have New Year's resolutions? Uh, yeah. And? Um, I broke them. Okay. Uh, my New Year resolution is to be a better me. How's that working out for you? <laughs> Not too much. Did you guys have New Year's resolutions? No. No. I'm lazy, so no. No. Four no's. Impressive. Thank you guys. Hello, hello, hello. 
Can I ask you guys some questions? Okay, it's real quick. Just shout it loud, sorry. Have any New Year's resolutions? No, no, no. As I suspected, New Year's resolutions are nowhere to be found on Photo Campus. Because we're better than that. We're the Knights. We don't need New Year's resolutions. Go Knights! In the words of Taryn Atley, New Year's resolutions are great. Here, Gabby Parker captures the magic. I don't celebrate New Year's. <laughs> I thought Chinese New Year was later. <laughs> Be true to myself. It just sounded so weird when I said it. Do you have to say something? Yeah. What do I say? What's your New Year's resolution? Oh boy. I gotta lose 20 pounds. No! Uh, <laughs> learn how to sing. Budget my money. <laughs> my New Year's resolution is to have a more positive outlook on life. Yeah, oh my, God. my New Year's resolution is to adopt a puppy and then sell it on Craigslist. I like that one. Being a good sibling and also focusing on filmmaking. I don't have a New Year's resolution. Uh, be more happy. <laughs> uh, to be a better person. <laughs> My New Year's resolution is to not be such an angry person. I want to be as awesome as Taryn Happy. Get married to Garrett. Garrett, do you want to get married? <sighs> Sorry, I'm already taken. The streets are married to me. <laughs> Take over the world. Wait, what's your... No, Reese Jason! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's... Why does Todd have a party every other week? about the Dino Dash and the great things it does. But what you don't know is who are the culprits behind the logos. Photographer Michaela Manning and reporter Nikki McClellan talked to Mr. Gillette about this class's role. Hi, good nights. I am Nikki McClellan here reporting for the Dino Dash logo contest with Mr. Gillette. So, Mr. Gillette, how long has Foothill been in the contest? We have been participating since 1999. So what were the, some of the logos that Foothill has won in the past years? Uh, the first one that we ever won was in 1999. I think, it's, I think it was the second year that they allowed students to participate. Before that, from Dino Dash 1 through 8, I think they had professionals that they paid to do it, and then they started giving it to students. So how do students get to participate in this? Uh, it's free to all students in the Tustin schools. I just happen to give it as an assignment to all my students because I want to win. Because the winner gets $250 cash, plus my room gets $250 cash. That's 500 bucks that we split. And you just come up with a logo. They have some parameters on sizes. They want a square. They want four colors maximum. They want to have the XXVI in there for Dinosaur Dash 26 for next year. And some kind of theme with some color in it. Of the dinosaur. <laughs> and so when is the deadline for this year? This is looming. It's coming up real close to the end of the month that you have to have them down there. 
can I do you do you and send in your Dino Dash logo soon. With basketball league games rolling in, Eileen Harrison and Jillian Berry caught up with Matt Avila and Lucas Araujo to teach some of our FTV staff the do's and don'ts of playing basketball. Hi, I'm Matt Avila and I'm a guard on the Foothill basketball team. Um, and I'm Lucas Araujo and I'm also a guard on the Foothill basketball team. And we're going to teach you today about how to play basketball. My name is Garrett Elm and I don't play basketball. My name is Michaela Manning and I'm also on FTV and I definitely don't play basketball. This is not how you want to do a layup. <laughs> the right way you should do a layup is dribble with your outside hand first and if you're on the left side, take off with your left foot. But you're like, whoa. You gotta just kind of count it so that. Alright, so after you get fouled, you're gonna to come to the free throw line, which is this line right here. Most people, you know, take a couple dribbles, a little spin, a little spin out front, take a couple dribbles, look around, get ready. We'll take that yeah, one. Yeah, we'll take that one. And try to make it so that your right foot is outwards, so you have balance to the side and a little back. So you have straight, straight in the back. Okay. This is how you block someone's shot without fouling them. You know, I learned something new, which is the sport and the grace of basketball. Yes. And I will cherish that. Yes. <laughs> oh, cheating. Oh. I'm gonna cross the weekly sports. Girls basketball beat Villa Park 87 to 34 with an outstanding job by Cassidy Stevens and Sydney Sharp, scoring 37 and 22 points. Phenomenal. And then girls water polo beat El Medina 24 to 2 with an outstanding job by the whole team. And girls soccer plays against Elmo at Elmo at 5 o'clock. So good luck Knights this week with your sports. Sydney Sharp, I am a senior and I've been playing varsity basketball since my freshman year. Uh, my friend actually got me involved. She needed another person for her team, so she asked me to play with her. Next year I will be going to UCSD and I will continue to play basketball and hopefully I will have a good season in college. Okay, before each game I try to mentally prepare myself, like picture myself in the game and just get into the game mindset. Uh, this year we have a pretty good team. Hopefully we'll do well in league. Our biggest opponent is Brea and hopefully we'll go far in CIF. Hi, this is Mason from the FHS Tech Club and I'm going to show you how to fix the roving mouse. That's been a constant problem on the computers. So first go to start by pressing the start key or clicking start. Then go to search and type in control panel. Now click on mouse. Then advanced, advanced feature settings, device select, and make sure use AccuPoint is unchecked. Then click OK, and it should be fixed. Um, for more tips, visit us on our Instagram page at FHS Tech Club. That sums it up for today, Knights. I'm Taryn. And I'm Aaron. And have a Broadway Lights Thursday, Foothill. <laughs>